What? My childhood basement. The shunned basement. <laughs> In a shunned house. What the hell, man? That was quite far outside my comfort zone, man. Looks like something's stuck here. A photo. Hmm. <laughs> Knocked before opening the door. Well, I can't cross that water, obviously. What the hell was in that last episode, man? <laughs> that was really trippy. God damn. I'm not going up. The moons, what do they symbolize? Phobos and Deimos? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. I wonder if this timestamp is important. What was that? And what was the expedition into the Antarctica? Remember in the first episode there was his... His little brother or something was going to the Antarctica? I've got no flashlight either. I see light behind the bookcase. C, B, he. Same as the second one. Periodic table in laundry room. Match atomic with volume number. C, B, he. Same as the second one. Carbon. Beryllium. Oh man. I'm going to have a short memory with this stuff. <laughs> Carbon, beryllium, helium. Same as the second one. Alright. Carbon, beryllium, helium. Same as the second one. In the laundry room is a periodic table. Alright. Uh, oh shit. Let me find out that periodic table. Uh, be right back. Alright, we found that periodic table. And then here it says C, B, He, and then it's the same as the second one. Here's C, B, He, B. So, obviously this is not rocket science. C, we have carbon over there, 6. B is 4. He is helium, which is 2. So it goes 6, 4, 2, 4. 6, 4, 2, 4. Right? Let's see what happens, guys. 6, 4, 2, 4. Right, where was it? That bookcase. Here we go. 6, 4, 2, 4. Aha. Uh -huh. 6. But this. this. What? This. there's numerous. The Y is there. Yeah. All right. Let me just figure this out. Hold on. Bingo. What the? F what is all this? I've never seen this room before. Was Mom really keeping this thing down here? I don't want to get I near her. her. Being an eccentric, but not like this. Uh, yeah. That book. Necronomicon? Huh. No glowing symbols on these tablets. Oh my god. Your mom was a sick bitch. The liquid dreams lubricate the passage. <laughs> Call it Nurgle's Rot. 
call it the devouring plague, call it the zero point pathogen, the black worm jism, the filth, the sizzling celestial syphilis eats holes in reality. One might enter these shrieking zones. To leave, one must find the tear in the skin of space. Ya chfagu, ya chashag, ya chashog. Yeah, okay, I'm sold. This is a great game. <laughs> Ia Fatalma Fatagan, Ia Gnai Fatagan, Ya Achsun. The dreaming ones were and are and will be. They are parents spawn in man manger also. Oh my god. Their dreams bubble and blaspheme, birthing quivering dimensions that mate with each other, forming new, incestuous dominions. Not reality, not illusion, hyper reality. The proper incantations allow travel into these pocket dimensions, but one might fall by happenstance through knowledge of the dreaming ones through proximity. Oh my fucking god, this game is pretty tight. Oh, look at this. There's a lot to read here, guys. This is really picking up, man. The hell are those things? A pair of orbs. Weird. Even from this photo, it feels like they're watching me. Hmm. That timestamp might be of use. Look at all this. Yeah, and this looks like it's gonna be. We have to get the order correct. Moons, fear and dread. Phobos and Deimos, right? So Phobos must be fear, like phobia, and Deimos must be dread, right? There are no solar eclipses on Mars. Phobos and Deimos are far too small. Total lunar eclipses of Phobos, however, are a nearly nightly occurrence. These frightful siblings do not behave as our moon does. Fleet Phobos rises in the west, sets in the east, and rises a mere 11 hours later. Later, Deimos rises more lazily from the east. Both moons are tidally locked, always showing the same face towards Mars. They never look away. They stare fixedly. Phobos stalks Mars. Its orbit decreases slowly. Someday, it will crash into the red planet. Evidence suggests Mars may have had many more moons at one time. Each meeting that fate, each committing self-destruction. Shit. Ah. The pictures, the timestamps. I'm gonna have to find some more pictures though. Three more. I'm sorry I don't have a lamp. I, I can't turn things up here, you know, a little bit. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. I suspect the blank ones are missing something. There's no more tablets though, man. I'm gonna have to go look around. Oh shit! Fuck you! Oh shit! Oh my god! Uh, hold on. Motherfucker! I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Um. God, I hate jump scares. I fucking hate them. I hate them. I'm scared shitless to go outside now here. By the look of things... God damn, they got me nicely, man. By the look of things, I need three more pictures. You know, the ones with the timestamps on them? What is that? Ah! Felt like my brain was melting. Those symbols were similar to the ones at the altar. So... Okay. 
Uh, looking them it makes me all fucked up. Looks like something's stuck here. Well... Oh man, I don't want to go through this doorway if that thing... Uh. Hmm? Can you take the torch? No. Open. Give me a weapon, please. Oh. I guess that's the laundry room, right? <gasps> Exit. A picture. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. That's from earlier. Maybe I should take note of that. It's that thing in the greenhouse. Two more pictures. Looks like something's stuck here. Well, I need a, a wrench or something to get it out then. Oh, I do have one. Hell. <sighs> Look at that architecture. It looks like some sort of doorway. Alright, how many do I have now? I should have enough, right? Oh my gosh. No, I'm not interacting with it. Come on, sir. Should be safe to walk here. What the f yeah, don't turn it on. Why the hell does that thing even exist? I am not in my comfort zone. Are those people flying out of the ship? It's the Cyrano. <sighs> time is not linear, is it? Or maybe time is a flat circle, a petri dish poked by gigantic fingers. We are the bacteria, are we? I keep seeing things outside of my time. It makes things difficult with my family. I've locked myself down here with blank photo paper and chemicals. I'm able to make my visions manifest. I can project such sights. I see a space vessel heading towards the red planet. I don't want to look up. You know, in these horror games, horror films, when a character is. <laughs> I'm honestly scared here, guys. When a character suddenly is concentrating really hard and then looks up or turns around suddenly, some asshole is there. <coughs> ah, it's one of those signs again, man. <sighs> ah, I can't look at it. It's like I'm a vampire and it's a crucifix. Alright, don't jump scare me, you bastards. I swear to Christ. <sighs> Alright. Alright, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five. But what is the order? I mean, logically, you would think, yeah, it's just the time, right? You look at the timestamp and then you go from the, the earliest until the, the latest. Alright, I'm gonna just go with that logic for now. So, 748. No, no. Spec, no. No, not for that one. Okay. 
insert item there, 748, use item. I'm just going to fast forward, because this looks like it's going to take a while. They're similar to the ones on the altar. Alright guys, I just basically put the in basically the order of the timestamps. What? One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. And there's a book. I know that book. Mom was very protective of it. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. <sighs> I think what I need to do, I have to find out all those symbols that hurt when I look at them. Oh, shit, I'm still scared shitless to, to walk around, man. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna go look for those things and then I'm gonna get back to you. What the hell? Oh man. Does it spell coca or something? Does it solve it now? Coca. That thing doesn't look like it's gonna let go of the book. Yeah. 